killer instinct. Um, and I was also mentioning how an ankle slicer seems like a pretty good mobility tool because he jumps back like a ton. Like, look also, at this little spacing So game I'm right going to sweep you while you do it. All right. So I'm going to do that. So on startup, wow. it's low and vulnerable. So gotcha. if you're anticipating me trying to do like a a low or a low, something, you baited the low. It's going to be low and vulnerable on startup. And it just goes right into auto double. It's an opener. Yeah. Okay, that makes that's crazy. So the balance to that. So if you were to do that. Oh, it's, it's, it's not high and vulnerable. Okay. So if I see that, I'm just gonna try to hit you. Uh, depending on the character too. Um, Whoa. Oh. Oh, and you just kind of like a uh, Balrog's uh, EX dash punch. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Um, it's it's got that piece it's of a similar situation, but you it can't has the, stop yeah. it. So this with that, I can basically walk forward into it and throw. And so before you're actually in an active attack with that, yeah, I'm gonna throw you out of it. Gotcha. And if but you, that's if I anticipate it. And even if you threw back, you could actually go into a combo. Yeah. Because the, his throw is lost. All right, so there we go. If you. You once again guess wrong during a move, you kind of, there's a way out of it. There's a yeah. way to like move around it. This is something I also learned a lot with Glacius recently, that his Puddle Punch seemed like extremely good. It's like anti-air, it hits me all the time, but then I realized that it's it's not low and vulnerable. You can no. just like hit them low and that's how you beat it. I'm like, oh, okay. I or if you safe jump on it, it's and it highly rips. punishable. So that's the thing, it's like understanding which moves seem like really good at the start, but understanding their weaknesses. Is that kind of like an overall design philosophy that each move kind of has a counter, like old KI if, in a way? If you see that something is coming, typically there's a, a, a way to beat it. Okay. So if like some dude was just doing the exact same thing over and over again, you... You don't want everything to be free. Exactly. Okay, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm getting at to understand like is this like this design philosophy kinda gonna carry over to everybody and it, it seems like it is. Like you don't get free. Yeah, I mean we, we try to think about the matchups against gotcha. each character. So when the when the new characters come online, we're gonna see like how how do those matchups uh, uh, revolve around the core four? Like how do they work? Like how does that character work work within that triangle and and what are their options against other characters that have uh, varying moves of different options. It's oh, I wonder if I can grab it in there. Um, so let's get into the final bits with his Chief's Instinct Mode. And I don't have my hand. You have yours. There we go. So his Instinct Mode is 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 all mobility, right? It seems to just mobility and in, in vulnerability. Okay. So uh, we try to make the so he bursts basically into uh, a set of birds and then comes back. So we're, uh, we're going to go into God mode for a little bit so we can just uh, play around with some of the nuances. Okay. Uh, so like all other instinct modes, if uh, you're either neutral or you're doing something defensive, gotcha. you can cancel. Block stun, hit stun, things Block like down. that. And so what's awesome about his gets him a crazy amount of mobility. And for a grappler, oh, no. it's, it means a lot. So it's a set distance that he can travel, and it's the, I forgot the exact number of frames it's invulnerable on startup. Uh, as he comes out of it, there is a bit of recovery. Gotcha. So he, oh, he has to sit for a second and activate. Yeah, he's got to sit for X number of frames, but it, it's very fair and it's used as a counter. So if you see something's coming, you can dash in and, and uh, set up your offense. That makes more sense. So it's... And it goes through things like fireballs and... Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, fireballs, physical attacks. It's it's completely invulnerable for that set of things. Let's see if I can show that. I'm, I'm going to jump up and land on the ground and like do a triple axe right at that time. I will. <laughs> Yoga! All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's almost like... Saber Wolf has a very similar thing where he can like cross you up on the ground without instinct, but Chief Thunder getting... The ability to kind of go from one end of the screen to the other really fast is... That's dead, dude. That's a pretty good instinct mode, especially for a grappling character. Uh, that's going to be very valuable, it looks like. Like, getting your instinct build up and using it at the perfect moment to, like, get in and to get as much damage as possible. Or, but, yeah, even just, uh, you know, sitting on it, not not being too rash. I see what you mean. So it's like just waiting for the opportunity where they're not expecting it and they're committed, topping it, and then immediately coming over and, say, going into the... Uh, Shadow, between and then following it up with like another juggle. It's it seems really powerful, but between the matches that you guys have had, because you you talked a lot about it, like balancing and focusing on the character balance. What, for example, is a good way to counter his instinct mode? Like, what is what is generally what people do to like? Oh no, he's an instinct. What do I do? Do you just like run away? It's do you some, fight it? 
Uh, a little bit of both. It's very similar to the matchup you'd see when Zangief has uh, Ultra One out. Okay, I see what you mean. So you're like, oh, well, I'm going to be very careful with my pokes, what I commit to. Sometimes I'm going to stay in the air. So different things. I'll be, he's got better mobility, so you're going to... In a sense, it's almost like playing dive kick. <laughs> do I want to commit to this air, this space? Uh -huh. I don't necessarily want to put myself into a corner. Okay. So it's a debate on which pokes that I'm going to put out. I'm going to do something that's a little bit safer, doesn't have as many active frames to where he could easily dash through to the other side. Okay. So, uh, it, it's all about those mind games. Okay, so it's like, I can see the tool being really useful against Glacius and certain characters that want to keep him at bay. I wonder how good, how like effective Jago is at potentially fireball keeping him away, but when he gets this, yo, that's gone, I'm going to rip you apart. So what you'll also notice is some people will start to jump away from you once like, you're in that mode. So if yeah. you see me pop that, sometimes what people will do is like, I'll start using... Uh, the overhead to start pulling people down out of the air. Gotcha. Or I'll start using more of the salmon to track people down. Wow, well, you can really delay the Samamish like yeah. dive like almost the entire way. Oh, wow. So, so you were baited to you wanted to counter just there. Yeah, exactly. I hit a button. You hit a button, but I waited. Wow. Okay. But like I said, it's high risk, high reward because you might not take the bait next time. So uh, these are what I would say uh, moves that Mike Ross was like. <laughs> so it's a really good. I mean, slam it's, supreme. It's, uh, they're, they're shenanigans, but they're they can be really well used within the system. And it's just all about mixing and uh, mixing up your attacks and getting people to wow. start committing to different things. So what I what I definitely want to talk about moving forward is probably the mechanics. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to talk about mechanics, but before we, before we move on. I think what everyone's been waiting for is to see his like ultra and on the big and beautiful stage. Is it possible we can set up an ultra situation here? Oh, absolutely. There seems to be a lot of water effects going on between not just the ground but like on the characters for this stage specifically. Is there like some sort of water physics or something going on in the characters? Because it looks like the uh, water's like splashing champagne. off of them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it is. Okay. okay. So uh, it's a very specific type of particle, and what they're doing is, and they have like a half-life uh, for our like rain, and so once it hits, uh, we'll get both of ourselves to like low health so we get the full time here. Okay. Okay, my turn. We're gonna combo square off. Let's see if this works. Oh, that's right, and he follows up himself. I think it, it looks like a launcher, but it is indeed the grab. So, one of the big things we'll talk about, too, is... So, the quickest way to do the most damage is by heavies. Yeah. So, if I go, like, heavy, heavy again, one more heavy, like, I'm almost already to, like, four in, like, potential damage. Oh, so... Or before, I wasn't, so it really indexes high. Gotcha, so do. the potential damage builds quicker with heavies. Yeah. Gotcha. And then, if you guys don't understand, the potential damage is those four little tick marks, which kind of, which kind of are the level of Ender. I think they represent how many hits are in the Ender as well. Yes. Is that right? Okay, that was that was a big difference in the uh, evil build, especially. And so, if you're doing resets, Rich is uh, really filthy at doing them. Basically, uh -huh. when you do resets, uh, you don't lose your potential damage that's on the opponent anymore. The only way potential damage goes away is either decaying over time, if you do a combo breaker, or if someone does the Ender to remove it. Gosh, let's see how much damage this does. Oh, I almost got it! 47. It probably would have done more if I wasn't dead. Oh, oh really? Okay, okay, I see what you mean. Because it stopped after your life expired, okay. Booyah! Okay, so go ahead, show me, show me your big chief thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Video games! <laughs> Straight up! <laughs> So, okay, I see that the health recovered. Alright, so here we go. There you go, guys. Chief Thunder, we got Ultras, we got all the special moves, we got a grappling character in Killer Instinct. I never thought that would be possible. Thank you very much, Mike, and stay tuned, dudes, because we'll be back very soon talking about the new mechanical differences between the previous Evo build and the latest build of Killer Instinct. Thanks, guys.